I heard a hissing noise. I went up under the forecastle head to see where the hissing noise came from. You could hear it immediately. Down where we were, there was a hatchway right down below and there was a tarpaulin across it with an iron batten. You could hear the water rushing in and the pressure of air underneath it was such that you could see this bending. In the finish, I was told it blew off. I came up to ascertain where the hissing noise was still coming from. I found it was the air escaping out of the exhaust of the tank. The Titanic told me when I had sent the position, he said he could not read signals because of the escape of steam and the air through the expansion joint, so I helped him with the communications. Will you repeat that? He could not read the incoming signals on account of the escape of steam and the air from the expansion joint. The water rushing into the hollow of the ship was driving the air through the expansion joint. It would not be the noise only, it would be the trembling of the ship.
it appeared to us that when the ship had listed heavily to port, the engines fell out and crashed through the side. Occasionally there had been a muffled thud or deadened explosion within the ship. Now, without warning, she seemed to start forward, moving forward and into the water at an angle of about 15 degrees. This movement, with the water rushing up toward us, was accompanied by a rumbling roar mixed with more muffled explosions. It was like standing under a steel railway bridge while an express train passes overhead, mingled with the noise of a pressed steel factory and wholesale breakage of China. I saw the vessel was sinking, and she went down with a volley of large explosions, caused, in my opinion, by the air breaking up the decks. Just a long, loud, hissing, roar, followed by an explosion, and if I remember rightly, a second one. I certainly heard nothing that sounded like an explosion. I did hear a great roar, mingled, with hissing, coming from the direction of the ship. I imagined that the decks had blown up, with the pressure pulling the boat down, bow on, this heavy weight, and the air, between the decks, that is my theory of the explosion. I do not know whether it is correct or not, but I do not think it was the boilers, I think it was the pressure, that heavy weight, shoving that, down, the water, rushing up, and the air, coming between the decks, something, had to go. The ship, took a dive, reeling, for a moment, then plunging. When the ship gave the first dip, we all went aft. I remember somebody shouted, go gently, as if a sudden shift of weight would have disturbed the ship's position. The big boat could be plainly seen, she parted in the middle, there was an awful roar, followed by violent explosions, the whole steamer seemed to rock and steady herself for the final plunge. At this time it was almost impossible to walk on the deck, without you caught hold of something, owing to the ship, heeling, right over. We were trying to fix up a collapsible boat, when she gave the first signs of going under. There seemed to be a tremble run through the whole of the ship, and the next thing we heard, were loud reports inside, which I think were the water-tight doors, giving way. And before you could say Jack Robinson there seemed to be mountains of water rushing through the doors, and I was swept away from where I was, right against the collapsible boat. With explosions, the ship seemed to break in two, and the forward end bounded up again for an instant. The bow, which had been pointing downwards, dipped, turned up again, right. The bow seemed to bob up and then break clean off. She just broke in two and the ends were sticking up. The halves seemed to rise out of the water. The ship's bow rose up in the air as the steamer sank towards the center. The Titanic gave a lurch downwards and we were in the water up to our hips. She rose again slightly. Before before I had swam more than 10 feet, I felt the deck come up under me, and I found we were high and dry. The ship, after going down by the head, again came up. The two ends of the ship, which we could trace by the lights, appeared to rise up. And the bow gave a sort of jump, and then seemed to wrench away from the middle portion. Suddenly, the whole superstructure of the ship appeared to split well forward to midship and bow or buckle upwards. Suddenly, her nose, on which I was, seemed to suddenly rise from underneath the water. The Titanic broke in half, and both ends turned up. For a moment the great masses of steel and iron poised in the air, then slowly they sank. First the middle seemed to go down, lifting bow and stern into the air. With explosions, the ship seemed to break in two, and the forward end bounded up again for an instant. When the water got into the engine room there was an explosion, and then I saw the Leviathan part in the middle. The stern rose high in the air, the bow less high.
I was blown out with something pretty powerful, when the ship went down, this explosion, or whatever it was, took place, certainly, I think it was the boilers exploded, there was a terrific blast of air, and water, and I was blown out clear, if her boilers did not explode, it was not, from that, and must have been the rush, of imprisoned air. We had heard a couple of explosions when we were near the boat, and then out there, we heard the big one which broke her in two. It was hard to see the forward half very distinctly because the lights had gone out of it. The back half was still brightly illuminated however. Some of these steerage women thought the forward half, which appeared like a big black shadow, which, was another boat, we had run into. Then there were a lot more little explosions coming rapidly one after another. Preceding the sinking of the boat, there was a loud cry, as if emanating from one throat. The men in our boat asked the women to cheer, saying, those cheers that you hear on the big boat mean they have all gotten into lifeboats and are saved. And do you know that we actually cheered, believing that the big shout was one of thanksgiving? We heard these cries, but we took them to be the boats that went away from the starboard side of the ship, that they were cheering one another, sir, giving them encouragement, sir. There must have been a great number of people in the water. But not near us. They were some distance away from us. How far? It seemed about half a mile.
the place was packed then. Oh, everybody was on deck milling around. Some were crying, some were praying. I felt rather sad myself, and so I went right aft, right up on the poop. It was quiet up there. There were about four of us up there. I could hear everything, everything that was movable was crashing through the ship. And she was sinking fast then. And all of a sudden she lifted up quickly and you could hear everything crashing through her. Everything that was movable was going through her. And then she went down and seemed to come up again. So I felt her go down and then she came up again. It was just like a, cork, uh, like a float, you see, sort of going down and bobbing up. And... There were had two boards on the stern of the Titanic which said, keep clear of propeller blades. And I was on the port one, hanging on. There was so much debris floating, and bodies dead and alive were all around there. So there were hundreds of them around the stern of that ship. They'd all seemed to drift down that way. And in the well where the water was, you could see the water, and this, the stern was right out. And there were people there struggling and crying and doing all sorts of things, and some jumping overboard. And eventually, I was hanging on to the rail, and one or two up there with me had already slipped down in, into the water, that is, in the well of the ship, you see. Oh, yeah. And then I let go, and I just missed the propellers on the way down. There were bodies all over the place. And then I looked up at the Titanic, so the propellers were right out of water, the rudder was right out, and I could see the bottom. And then gradually she glided away, and that was that. That was the last of the Titanic. <laughs>